topic is going to be about, of course, the American League All-Star Game Reserves. Just talking about that. That wasn't out yesterday. So just giving my overall thoughts on all the players selected and just if I think they're deserving or not in general. So, yeah, let's get into it. So starting off with the American League, of course, we're starting off with the pitchers. Uh, going first from the Los Angeles Angels, Tyler Anderson. Yeah, I think Anderson is definitely deserving. Anderson has had a great bounce back season with the Angels last year. It was so bad that the Angels actually placed him on waivers at the end of last year and nobody even wanted him. So that was how really unfortunate he was doing in the first year of his contract. But has really been great this year. Has done fantastic with them. Has become a really big trade piece in this market and definitely deserves to be the second time All Star for him. Congratulations. Definitely a good choice, especially as the Angels representative. Next, we have from the Baltimore Orioles, Corbin Burns. Yeah, I think, again, Corbin Burns is an obvious candidate that should have been here. He's probably right now the AL Cy Young favorite. I mean, is having such a fantastic season for the Orioles is really one of the big reasons why the Orioles are doing as good as they are. And, yeah, just a great season he's having. 100% deserves to be here. No, no, uh, no, nothing wrong about the selection of me. And, yeah, overall, I think this is a great, great pick. Next, we have from the Cleveland Guardians, Emmanuel Classe. Yeah, again, another pick that was very obvious and very deserved. Class A has been fantastic this year for Texas. Sorry, not Texas. It's been fantastic this year for Cleveland. I was thinking of his old team. And, yeah, has been maybe the best closer in baseball all year. Has been a huge reason why this this Guardians team has been so dominant. I mean, when you get to that ninth inning, it's basically over. You do not want to see Class A. His season really reminds me of 2022 Edwin Diaz with how dominant he was. Um, both those pitchers, I think, are, have a lot of similarities. So, yeah, I think Class A was an obvious pick that needed to be here. It would be nice to him to go back to his former ballpark. And, uh, yeah, just a great selection here. Was um, Has been amazing this year. Obvious pick, and, yeah, definitely deserved. Next we have from the Seattle Mariners, Logan Gobert. Again, another pick that I 100% think was deserved. Gobert has been a huge piece of this Mariners team. Really what they've expected him to be, and he's been everything that they've wanted. I mean, has been such, such a great, great piece. I mean, has been absolutely fantastic. And, yeah, it's been just really, really great. Has been, a, again, a big reason why this Mariners rotation has been so dominant, why this Mariners team has been so good this year. And I think overall he's been an amazing player, really deserves this pick. I'm sure there's a lot of all-star games in his future because he is a great, great pitcher with a ton of potential left for his future. So, yeah, um, I think it's a great selection here, and I think it is definitely deserved for this Mariners team. Next up we have one of the first picks that really did get some attention with how, you know, kind of iffy it was, and that is from the New York Yankees, Clay Holmes. Now, Clay Holmes has definitely had a very solid season. I mean, there's no there's no doubting about that. But the thing is, has he been better than some of the guys who were left off, mainly Craig Kimbrell and Kenley Jansen? Now, Holmes, again, has had a very solid season for this Yankees team. He's always been a good closer for them, but he's not done as great in these past few weeks. Blew a big game against the Red Sox a few days ago, and Looking at his numbers compared to a guy like Kenley Jansen, a guy, guy like Craig Kimbrell who have been left off the team, I, I think there is a real debate here to say, does he deserve it? Now, even even uh, Clay Holmes said in an interview that he was definitely surprised about this, and I think that's for a reason. Again, I think he's had a very solid season. I have no problem with him being an all-star. It's just the guys who he's picked over. I don't necessarily, necessarily think it was a great, great pick. And again, I think that you know there were some better selections. But again, he's had a solid season. But we'll be talking more about Clay Holmes in our third segment, which is all about the Yankees. So, yeah, we'll be going over that. Next, we have from the Boston Red Sox, Tanner Houck. Yeah, great pick. Houck has been so, so good this year. I mean, it's been so fantastic. Has had a true breakout season for this Red Sox team. One of the big reasons why they have exceeded expectations so much. Has been absolutely fantastic. I mean, really, really has been great. I don't know what else to say about Houck. But, yeah, just a breakout season out of nowhere has been absolutely fantastic and good for him. Definitely deserves this. Seth Lugo from the Kansas City Royals is the next one. Yes, 100%. Lugo, what a season he has had. I mean, what a turnaround his career has been from a middle relief pitcher from the Mets to now being an ace-level pitcher with the Royals. Betting himself going to the Padres last year as a starter. Worked out, signed a big contract with the Royals, and now is in the All-Star game. I think could be one of the candidates to start the All-Star game as well. I'm sure it'll be Corbin Burns who starts it. But, yeah, Lugo has had an absolutely fantastic season. And, yeah, has been just so, so good. And, yeah, just a great season for Lugo. Very happy for him as a Mets fan. And definitely deserves this pick. Mason Miller from the A's. Next pick, of course, 
I mean, who else is going to be picked in the A's? Brent Rooker's had a good season, but Mason Mosley, obvious choice here, has, again, been absolutely fantastic. I think really has just had one of the best relief seasons of all time at this point, has been so, so good, and definitely deserves this pick. No, no doubt about that here. I'm sure everyone will agree with that. Next, from the Detroit Tigers, Tarek Skubal. Again, a guy who probably is the AL Cy Young favorite at this point. With how fantastic Skubal has been, you had to put him here. First of many All-Star games in his future, I'd say, is a future superstar in my opinion. Absolutely fantastic, and yeah, I 100% think he deserves this here. And uh, yeah, an obvious pick, but the right one. And last but not least, from the hometown team, the Texas Rangers, we have Kirby Yates. Yates has been absolutely phenomenal this year for Texas. Has an, has an ERA under one, has been one of the big reasons why this Rangers team hasn't fully fallen apart. I mean, they've fallen apart a little bit, but not to the degree I think some people thought. So Yates has been absolutely fantastic. He's had a great, great season with Texas right now. And yeah, definitely deserves this pick. Good good pick here for the hometown team. No, no doubt about that here. All right, moving into the position players here. We have first from the Minnesota Twins, Carlos Correa. Now, Correa will be interesting as I think that um, I don't. I'm not sure actually if he's going to play in the All Star game is what I'm trying to get at. He just did get hit by hit by a pitch on his hand, I believe a day ago. So we're not sure if that'll be healed enough to play in the All Star game. But even so, he's had a fantastic season with the Twins. Again, there's a lot of doubts about him when he signed that contract in Minnesota, after all the medical stuff that happened in New York and San Francisco with his, with his contracts being canceled. So, yeah, really nice bounce back for Correa. He's had a fantastic, fantastic season. Really is looking like the Correa of old, the Correa back in Houston. So, yeah. Absolutely fantastic season with the Twins here and definitely deserves this pick. Next we have from the Boston Red Sox, Rafael Devers. Devers has been absolutely fantastic this year. I mean, it was my choice to be the AL third baseman uh, starting this game. I think 100% deserves this pick. We saw yesterday what he can do. I mean, just that game against the Yankees was absolutely insane. So Devers 100% deserves this pick. Was a very, very, uh, very deserving candidate. Yes, had a fantastic season. And yeah, great, great pick. I also want to say I am a little bit under the weather, so if you do hear some sniffling or coughing or something like that, I do apologize. I just want to get that out there. I was supposed to say it at the start, but I did forget. But let's keep going. Uh, next we have, also from the Boston Red Sox, Jaron Duran. Duran has just had an amazing breakout season with the Red Sox. I did a segment on him a few days ago. It's on the channel as well, so if you want to see that, go ahead. But yeah, Duran has had an amazing, amazing season with Boston has been so, so good as a breakout player. I really did not expect much from him this year, but man, has he been great for Boston. Really, again, is like Tanner Houck has been one of the big reasons why this team has been so fantastic this year and has exceeded so many expectations. So yeah, I think 100% this deserved, and yeah, just a great, great season for him. Next, we have from the Cleveland Guardians, David Fry. Yeah, Fry has had an amazing, incredible season. A guy who's not supposed to be part of this Guardians team at all this year is now an all-star. And he said it the best. They asked him, did you expect to be an all-star this year? And he said, yeah, I expect to be a triple-A all-star. So it shows you even, even this, this is not even on the radar for him. So the fact that he did make the all-star team is one of the reasons why baseball is so great. I mean, having these guys make the all-star game out of nowhere is just such a nice story, such a fun thing. And yeah, one of the, one of the reasons why baseball is the greatest game in the world. Such a great season for David Fry. I mean, it has been an amazing, amazing piece of this Guardians offense that has been extraordinary. And yeah, just a great, great job by him. Next, we have from the Detroit Tigers again, Riley Green. Yeah, 100% deserves the Green has been in a fantastic piece of this Tigers offense. Their offense has been horrible this year, but at the same time, that is not to uh, that is not up to the blame of Green. He's been absolutely fantastic this year. With some of his other younger Tigers players like Parker Meadows, Cole Keith, Spencer Torkelson have now played up to the standard. Green has, and he's been absolutely fantastic. And yeah, 100% deserves this pick, and it is well, well deserved here. Next, we have from the Cleveland Guardians, Josh Naylor. Naylor is the guy I would have picked to start the game at first base for the American League. So obviously, I think he deserves to be here. Has had an amazing, amazing season with Cleveland. Is, again, one of the big reasons why this Cleveland team um, had, is so good. And one of the big reasons why this offense has been so extraordinary this year. So, yeah, I think he 100% deserves this pick. And it's definitely, uh, definitely a great pick here for Cleveland. Next, we have from the Tampa Bay Rays, Isaac Paredes. The, the Rays offense really has been underwhelming this year, but that is not to the blame of Paredes. He's been absolutely fantastic this year, really, really performing great, and is a deserving pick here to this Tampa Bay team. Um, is an absolutely great selection, and yeah, he's had another great season with Tampa Bay since coming over from Detroit. Yeah, great, great pick. 
Next, we have from the Kansas City Royals, Salvador Perez. Talked about him on my show a few times, but man, what a breakout season for Salvador Perez. Um, really, the last few seasons were kind of rough for him since signing that big contract, but man, has he been fantastic this year. Has been hitting the ball so, so well. 100% deserved pick here, and yeah, I think this is a great selection here. Really deserves it, and great, great season for him here. Next, we have from the Texas Rangers, the hometown team. It is Marcus Semien. Now, this is one of the few, uh, few picks where I say, what? I, I don't know why Semien made this. I understand he's on the Rangers. I understand he's a very popular player in there, but man, he has not had a good season. I don't know what stats you can look at and say, oh, Marcus Semien, that deserves to be an all-star. I mean, just look at his stats. They're really not that good. I don't necessarily understand why Semien was picked an all-star. It's a very random selection. I don't really think this deserve whatsoever. He's a very good player, signed that big contract for a reason, but man, this is very random, and I, I don't think that this is a great pick, and yeah, I, I, I don't understand why this happened, so yeah, cool, I guess, but definitely not deserved, in my opinion. Sorry to Semien, but man, I don't understand this pick. Next, we have from the Houston Astros, Kyle Tucker. Yeah, 100% deserved. No, no, nothing else to say here. Kyle Tucker's one of the best players in baseball. He's having another fantastic season, and yeah, definitely deserved. And finally, from the Kansas City Royals, once again, Bobby Witt Jr. Witt is also going to be participating in the Home Run Derby, so that should be very fun. But yeah, a fantastic season for Witt here with the Royals. Has been so, so good, and I think 100% deserves the selection. Um, you know, this he's had an amazing, fantastic season with the Royals. First of many All-Star games for him. I saw someone on ESPN, I forgot uh, who it was, but they said this could be the first 15 All-Star games for Witt, and I 100% agree. This guy's a superstar. He's going to be a big part of the MLB in the future, being a face fit. His dad was a star for the Rangers uh, in his own time, Bobby Witt Sr., so really nice for him to return to his dad's ballpark. And, yeah, I think that overall this is a great pick, and he definitely deserves it. Now, going over some snubs here. Again, I talked about Kenley Jansen and um, Craig Kimber before. I also think Andres Munoz was, has had a really good season and maybe could have been there over Clay Holmes. Brent Rooker, who's had a fantastic season for the A's, maybe could have been in here. Connor Wong, who's had a great season for the Red Sox, I think could have been in here. Also, Ronald Blanco from the Astros had an amazing season as well as a pitcher. I think all four of those guys were really the biggest snubs in my opinion. But again, only really two guys I think are really genuine surprises for me. So overall, a fine list. There were some picks I thought were a little weird, but still a good list. Moving into our second segment now, we'll be talking about the NO, All-Star Game Reserve. So yeah, going into that, and we'll see you after the break. So thanks, and bye. I feel like 